It's time for the Gizwiz with Maz Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This episode 1621, recorded May 4th, 2017. Celebrating Independence Day. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets from Time to Play magazine. We also have the new start of my crappy corner, and maybe a not so crappy gadget this time, and your viewer videos all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of you. USBs, growing, growing LEDs, get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is, the gadget prestidigitator, Dickie D. And wait a minute, hang on. <laughs> this <laughs> is, we are celebrating two things. <laughs> this is show 104, which means we are finishing Two full years of viewer-supported nonsense. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, all right. And I happen to be uh, watching you this week, and your Minecraft yes has reached yes six six hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. subscribers. However. It is a match because I've been crunching numbers all day. So right now, I personally know of six people who are watching. Uh-huh. Okay. There are 100 people in the chat room. Uh-huh. And there are about 1,000 between Twitch and YouTube. Uh-huh. So that is 600,000. Thousand. There we yeah. go. Uh, Gizwiz okay. is just the same. Yeah, absolutely. Just the same. Just the same. I mean, maybe 599,000 off, but I mean, like, what is that? <laughs> Give what or take that? a half million. Yeah, no, that is an amazing feat. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. OMG Craft passed um, 600,000 subscribers, uh, and it was only, I think it was about two years ago that we passed 100,000 subscribers. So, and I have a plaque. I have a YouTube plaque. It's in my other room uh, for the 100,000. The next time they give you a plaque is at a million. And I'll be honest, I did not think that I would get to a million, but it's creeping up there. It might be yes. possible in maybe another year, uh, maybe two, uh, be up to a million. Uh, but thank you. Uh, I mean, the, I You're think the, big, the two years of independent shows is more incredible than the, the OMG craft because uh, just, I mean, we've had to gather so many people that will help support the show and, you know, all the ga gadgets and stuff seems a whole lot more difficult than Minecraft videos. It's like, <laughs> Minecraft well, is you... just a video game. It's all <laughs> digital. But the Gizwiz, yeah. that is yeah, real. So it's a real signed. dumbed show. <laughs> I know. Sometimes on a Monday I say to Dennis, oh, my God, I've got to go shopping. I've yeah. got to read a million press releases. I have to find three things by Thursday, and if no one sends in a video, I have to go to the warehouse also. Yep. But it's fun. And it it, fun. It's, just, it's just great. It's just so wonderful to be able to keep on moving ahead, not worrying about a producer yeah. or a sponsor or anybody saying or time. Oh my gosh. Time slots were the worst. Anytime yes. we had to go to a convention, either of us, you know, had to get on a flight, finding an extra time slot was such a pain. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is. But now life. we're free and <laughs> easy. Even two years later, we're talking about it. Oh God, <laughs> independence is so great. Yes, yes, it's just the two of us. Yeah, the two of us. And of course, a big thanks goes out to our audience for being here. Oh my God, supporting yes, the us. audience. Su exactly. The patrons, the people who have donated on PayPal. Uh, also, our sponsors. Ever, you know, we have a next week. I believe we have a sponsor. Uh, I mean, all all the help that Gizwiz has to uh, to survive. Big thanks. Big, no, it's big great. Thanks. 
It's With that, great. I guess let's jump into what well, the show's into, all uh, about. Okay, so, so as you yeah, mentioned at the opening, uh, Time to Play magazine has something called the Spring Event. And unlike Toy Fair, which is a huge show showing what's going to be available for the holidays, the uh, Time to Play magazine Spring Event is things that are around now or coming out like in the next month. Uh, at as the furthest out and some fun stuff and we're going to take a look at something that caught my eye from ANSI pants Dick Dick Bartolo Maz Metis Drider and the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv remember I told you I got a new engine well this is the boat I put it on isn't this neat <laughs> okay so I'm at a a booth here at Time to Play magazine called ANSI Pants, and they make these neat uh, kits that kids can build their own pirate ship. Oh, I took my hat and my patch off. We're going to walk along. So ANSI Pants makes these kits. These are what the kits look like on the inside that kids click together, and they can build this castle. Uh, what else can we build? We can build a tent down here. And what's neat about the what's neat about the tent is that kids can color it. I'm going to get in front of the camera, and then parents can put it in the washing machine and clean it off. Uh, over here, this is really neat. This is going to be my second career when I give up being the Gizwiz. It's your own lemonade stand. Okay, Ooh. so when you with all the parts together, it's like forty nine bucks. Uh, the kit is one thing, thirty bucks. You build what you want, and then they have all these different covers over here, and then the covers go over, uh, and this is what the kits look like, okay? All color uh, coordinated, easy for kids to build. And what age group is this? This is ages four and up. Ages four and up, and are they out now? They're out now. They're available at Target only exclusively. At Target only. ANSI Pants. Dick D. Bartolo, Mans Metis writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Oh, that's a picture of me when I was a kid. Bye. <laughs> I'm still a kid. Bye. The whole boat is a sail uh, now. You don't have a sail boat. You just have a, a sail uh, yes, that exactly. is a boat. <laughs> Uh, and also, I like how the uh, ice cream truck, it was a truck, you know, it was like, food trucks are all the rage now. They the are. Kids they are going to want a truck to sell their lemonade out of. Yes. yes but I love yes. it. That's great. I, I'm, my fast, I had a fascination when I was younger with um, bed tents. Do you remember the, a tent no. that you would put onto your bed? I don't know why. Love these things. They were my favorite I, I, well, you, made, you made it out of a sheet or it was a real thing you, you bought? You could buy a product and it would it looked almost exactly like that. That you had you know poles, some were oh, boxy, right. some were more tent shaped, the dome shape. Oh, um, okay. And so that's what that reminded me a lot of is instead of just having a, a tent, you know, you could have a boat on your bed. Something yeah. Like that. I like yeah. that it's, it's modular. You could create it. You could put it wherever you want. I like it. it Exactly, exactly. And also, I, I hope that, you know, I don't see any of that kind of play here in the city, but I'm, I'm uh, assuming that in the suburbs where people have big lawns and stuff and uh, they can go out and, oh, there is a lemonade stand. There is a that's lemonade what, stand. That's what I need. That's what we need. Um, it, it, it's a fun thing that, you know, I, I think making up stuff and playing uh, is just great fun. I agree. I agree. I, and, and you know what? <laughs> Hence I also, this show, as a matter of exactly, fact. Exactly, right? I mean, who would, <laughs> we would never be against uh, having fun and imagination. Uh, I like also that the, uh, the packaging, it, because it's using the sort of build design where you put together something like almost like huge connects or huge, uh, yes. you know, something like that, that it is a small package. You can just go to the store, pick it up, or have it shipped to you in such a small uh, dimension. And then it builds into something so much better. That is so good for storage when you have so many kids' toys and things like that. This is very nice. Yeah, it's, it's very cute. They're, and what a nice name, Ancy Pants. Ancy Pants. I thought it was going to be, you know, the, the 
uh, the mouth game that, ha- that kept open your mouth, and then we oh, had the balloon oh, and the Big pie man. in the face game. I <laughs> thought this was a new game. Antsy pants, and you threw some ants oh, in your oh, pants that's somehow. Very that's very funny. Uh, that's very but, funny. Yeah. Well, I, I have I have a couple of gadgets for next week, and one of them is the next uh, innovation of that kind of game. So uh, I'll explain that next week. But for this week, oh, do you know about bottle flipping? <laughs> yes. Okay. It is all the rage on the YouTube bottle, generation. Yes, it is. Bottle uh, flipping. And so three guys got together. Well, here's their story. Okay, so <laughs> learning about bottle flipping. Nicky Bartolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Cap It. You know, you've seen those virtual videos of kids flipping bottles and landing on the cap. Well, actually, these two dads have come out with a game, the Cap It game, and Joe's going to tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so it's a basic uh, game, the 21. Uh, you want to flip the bottle, it has to go over one full rotation, and uh, you try to score 21 points. And uh, it's a lot of a lot of different motor skills involved. We've got low scoring, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the inventor of Caput, one of three inventors. Oh, I'm going to try it too. Okay. Oh, you have to hold I it upside so down, bad. right? You have to. Oh, okay. You but don't have to. We're yes. gonna try to cap practice makes perfecting, so don't More, worry. Uh, okay. So if you're playing Caput, holding it upside down is better. I, I, I am not even getting it on the table. <laughs> I think it's uh, just I'll preference. do it one more time, and then no. Okay, did you get it? Uh, it's of course. If you weren't filming me, I get it every time. But <laughs> sure. We've been no, here. We time. we've been here four hours, <laughs> and he got it once. Uh, no, he's pretty good at it. Uh, okay, when is this out, and what's it cost? So it's been out since February. Uh, it's 19.95. You can get it on our website, cafegame.com. And what do you get for 20 bucks? So for 20 bucks, you get the uh, the you get two water bottles empty uh but you get two bottles and you get the play mat with the instructions and um so you can start flipping right away okay dicky bartolo man's maddest writer and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv on the uh, adult version it's filled with vodka bye <laughs> hey this is just a quickie little insert we're playing around here with joe and i took a bunch of bottles and i threw them up in the air as i'm leaving and i turn around and look at that what are the chances of that happening? And they landed on the five. They landed in the red. So that's, that's 20, 20 points right, points there. right yeah, there. Yeah, We have someone else trying and, oh, almost. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's, it's a shame that didn't happen on camera. The, no uh, yes. the, yes. the tower. <laughs> Oh, oops, there we go. So are you good at this? Do you <laughs> no, obviously... uh, no. But yeah, it's a YouTube generation thing that uh, you take a bottle. Sometimes it lands on the cap. Sometimes it lands, uh, you know, on its base. But you flip it in the air and sometimes it goes through crazy. It bounces off three walls and then lands right in the middle of a of a thing that can only big enough to hold just that. But yeah. Uh... And, and then do kids make... Do, is that scoring system kind of what everybody uses? No. Or the, just those guys made that Just those system. guys made that Uh-oh. up. No, the whole thing is just the impossibility of it. And it's almost become a, a joke or a meme that, uh, you know, as someone, it's such an, a useless skill, you know? Yes. <laughs> you flip a bottle yes. and it lands correctly upright or upside down. Uh, but there are people that do... Uh, practice uh, that uh, do you know make videos specifically about this montage videos where they're doing it in different locations and all over the world and or uh, doing it you know in unsuspecting uh, ways or it's like in between people or in class where the teacher's not looking and has anybody like uh, stacked bottles do you know like even two bottle one on top of another I wouldn't put it past the internet to have done it oh, before okay. but i okay. haven't seen a video like that so i think you're the first <laughs> some, some of the bleak in the chat room is saying very very sad people <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly right. i mean you know it's young generation they got so much time they can do whatever yeah, the heck they you're want sitting, you're sitting and you just drank a bottle of soda and you figure or a bottle of water yep now now the, the cap it bottles are slightly wider and very flat and the bottles are stronger, 
so that they have a little more control over them when you throw them up and, and the cap being a touch wider probably increases your chances of getting it to stand on its cap. Um, but it was the, the, the three guys, their kids were doing exactly what you said. They were flipping bottles, videotaping it and put it on, on YouTube. Yep. Exactly. And they thought, well, why don't we come out with like a regulation bottle so that, <laughs> that there could be it's more like competition. Cup stacking. Do you remember cup stacking? Oh cup, yes. Cup stacking has a whole league of cup stackers that specifically design cups to speed stack. Yes. Cups. Uh, you know, I, I didn't see any PE cup classes stacking. did it yes. in forever. And yes. Yeah. About three it, years yeah. ago at Toy Fair, they had the cup stackers. They were like unbelievable how uh, fast. Incredibly they, fast. Incredibly yeah, fast. Incredibly. Yeah. So um, it's not, anyway. it's not too many steps away. I'm seeing in the chat room, people talking about playing marbles or pog or yo-yo or oh, cup stacking pog. you know like i'm just thinking of all these things they're all just it's not like basketball or football or baseball where you you get a lot of physical activity but it's something it's, it's something, something yeah it's so something. let the kids do it in my opinion yeah well you know maybe we should make cap it uniforms exactly get get kids into an official cap it uniform we should we should make a regulation bottle that's just a normal water bottle and sell it yeah. for like five dollars each you know <laughs> just go down to to kroger go down to safeway and yeah. buy you know 32 bottles sell them again for there you a, go a with free water each. free water inside free water. there you go yeah. purified even and yeah. for ten dollars hudson river water <laughs> wow the color yeah. makes it easier to see, I, I hear. Oh, there so, you go. There you go. Yeah, there you, you go. go. It's our next Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, our third gadget, uh, and, and you'll have to tell me your take on this because I know zero about video games, but this is kind of an interesting concept. Um, I'll tell you my what they told me about it after we see Light Seekers. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Maz, Mattis, writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Time to play magazine, spring showcase, and we're at Light Seekers. And these two guys claim that they are live living light seekers. Actually, is that a light seeker? This is a light seeker. I have Jax, the Tyrax. He has Cora, the Mari. And right now, what I'm doing is using a smart action figure to control my on game character. So I'm trying to collect coins. If I go through these circles, I can either get more ammunition or speed up. I can also shoot my opponent, which I just did. And Light Seekers is a mobile and tablet game that's coming out on Monday. It connects to these smart action figures. You can add weapons that level up. There's also a physical trading card game uh, that connects to the video game as well. But what you're seeing right here is a smart action figure that's working as an on-screen game controller. Okay, now are there different backgrounds? Different backgrounds based on the characters you play, uh, different attacks based on the weapons that you choose, different areas of a very complex world that you play based on the character that you choose. Now, why are we seeing a split screen? It's not 3D or anything, right? right? Now I'm playing head to head against my coworker here. Oh, okay. Um, but I can also play this as a single player game and just try and get my best score. And, and what is this guy going to retail for? So you get a starter pack, which includes a toy, a weapon, six cards, a charger, and this mini computer for $69.99. Available okay. on sale Monday. On, on sale Monday. We're, we're recording this on, what, what is it? Oh, Monday's May 1st. Correct. Right. So May 1st, 2017, uh, Light Seekers. Now, can this be played on a phone or is that just too small? This can be played on a phone or a tablet. It's available on iPhone and Android devices, okay? And uh, it, it's a free-to-play game, so it doesn't cost anything. There's no in-app purchases, and it's available beginning May 1st. Just hold them up to the camera here while I just wrap this up. So Dick D. Bartolo and Maz Mattis try to end the Gizwiz one take theater. Woo! I'm entering your phone, your tablet. Dick D. Bartolo and Maz Mattis try to end the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. No in-app purchase. I like that. Uh, we're all collecting coins, really. I mean, in life, right? Uh, that's uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, that's true. No that's in-app true. purchase, just in-store purchase. Uh, you have to go into our Toys R Us and then 
buy it. That's right? true. That's true. <laughs> but they claim that everything, uh, I think the boxes they come in, the trading cards, their comics, everything can be put into the virtual game and be part of how you play. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah so I'm not, I, I'm not I, I knocking never it seen, for saying no uh, in that purchase. I, I think that that's pretty cool. Yeah, and, and I like the fact that are, are there other toys where the the toy is actually the game controller? Not that I know of. Oh, Normally, okay. That's that's yeah. That seems kind of unique nice. to me. Yeah, it seemed like he was uh, working the backpack on on one of those guys, and the backpack was actually uh, ha making things happen within the in the game. Yeah, um, I, I I I like the concept. There's been a few sort of in real life objects brought into app things before but a lot of them have to deal with figurines or and they're not a controller uh or cards so this kind of seems like it brings everything together where you have a cool toy that can be a controller for the in-app thing and then also cards i see that it could go some places right now it looks like there's only two i'd say that that needs to expand for it to become i i uh, think it, you know really the, cool. the company is is tommy t-o-m-y and I, I know them. They're a very big company. So with them behind it, and the fact that it was it started as, as a Kickstarter, they wanted two hundred thousand dollars, and they uh, let me look. They got two hundred twenty-seven thousand something. So they do have interest in it. And um, LED lights. It says that they light up, and the, the lights on the characters tell you what's happening or what your score is. And uh, and, and seventy bucks doesn't seem too outrageous for uh, no. something that looks pretty c complicated or right. fun anyway. Right, exactly. Yeah. Cool. I, I, yeah, I think it has it. potential. Light Seekers. Light seekers. Uh, and then someone also in my Twitch chat is saying Lego Dimensions, which I think is another thing that is bring, brought in, into the virtual Lego yes, Le thing. Yes, I saw that like at two years ago and it was kind of interesting because you could put Anything into any, for example, right. they had Homer Simpson and Superman, and you could stick Homer Simpson into a Superman dialogue thing, and 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 it was kind of funny because it it was like some sort of a a, a a screen that your character stood in front of, and then there was like flashing, and then suddenly your character was on the screen right. in a game. So it right. was kind of fun. Yeah, kind of fun. Really neat stuff. Okay, cool. We now, know. ladies and gentlemen, it is now <clears throat> May, which means it's time for a new Chad so crappy, but you might want to watch Chad's theme. It's crappy corner. Get it. All right. And the theme. The theme. Is, you the, polled. You polled. We polled. Yep, we asked Patreon uh, what our theme should be. I don't have the uh, poll right here with me, but okay. uh, the answer was doggy gadgets. So we are going to be doing a month of... I know. Now, off, off camera, Yeah. last week, Chad said, I'm going to do a poll, and I hope it's doggy gadgets. Me and I too. said, well, Chad, what are the other options? And they were... Bobbed wire gadgets, <laughs> right? <laughs> and rusty razor gadgets or door gadgets. What would you? Yeah, what would you like it was to exactly. Most? It uh, was yes, yeah. yes. So yes. I'm quite quite amazed that you got your wish. It was calculator gadgets, uh, or uh, nail clipping dead, gadgets. Uh, yep, and dead battery gadgets. <laughs> dead battery gadgets. Right. Exactly. Uh, actually, here, let me jump into the poll. poll. I have it right here. Oh, uh, make a fool out of me. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, party gadgets and camping gadgets. Uh, oh, okay. There okay. we go. And uh, the results, let me grab this and just look at it. There we go with 45% uh, of the vote. Oh, okay. Vote. It was clear winner. Clear, clear winner. winner. Uh, there you go. So. Shows you, shows you our, our uh, audience are not big party goers. That no. Party, party was a. A losing third. No, no, they're, they're okay. not very, uh, they don't like other people, really. They like <laughs> to stay at home, a quiet night by themselves. So I'm really excited about doggy gadgets because, of course, I have a, do we both have dogs. Yeah, we both, we both, not only we both have dogs, we have both <laughs> have dogs named Charlie. Named Charlie. I was at the yeah. dog park and there was someone else's dog named Charlie. I was thinking, man, maybe I should have renamed him when I got him from the, uh, 
uh, the the vet, uh, the, uh, the the uh, sorry, rescue. What what right. do they call that? Uh, but anyway, shelter. Shelter. Right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, when I adopted him. And so I'm very excited about the gadgets this month. And the first gadget is something right up Gizwiz Alley. It is called the Pooch Selfie. The Pooch oh Selfie my God. is an attachment for your phone in order to take better selfies with your dog. So, of course, I had to test it out in order to make sure that it worked great. So we'll head to earlier uh, when I recorded this. Hey Diggy D, uh, here I am with Charlie and we're testing out today's gadget. But first, Whoops. we have to do the black and white, the no good, the, the you know, oh this is how life is without this product. Uh, and what I want to do is take a selfie <laughs> oh, with Charlie. Oh, Charlie's so into so it. I'm gonna yeah, he is. Get right here and take a Hey Charlie, look up to the camera. Come on, it's selfie, it's selfie time. <laughs> up here. <laughs> Not so great. So, introducing our newest pooch gadget, the Pooch Selfie. This is guaranteed to take perfect selfies with your animals uh, every single time. So we're gonna test it out right now. You can see that this attachment uh, is added to the top of your phone, and then the dog will look at the, uh, at the top of the phone and the of course, the uh, the tennis ball on top <laughs> fits on top of the phone just okay. Let's go ahead and launch the app. Put it into selfie mode. And the app is just Charlie, camera look app. Look at you, Charlie. Oh, okay. Charlie, Charlie. Okay, so far <laughs> not so great. Charge arm. Charge arm. Look, do you want the ball? Do you want the ball? Oh, okay. All right. There's a good one. I gotta that say, it works. Good. He's looking at the ball. Hey, look at the ball. Look at the ball. Oh, those, He's doing those pretty are good. Very He's doing good. pretty good. Now, he may not want to bite my phone, uh, which is not so great. Sure, sure. Do you want it? You kind of have to show him the ball. Yeah, and you have to remember to take that off we, your we phone. We got some good selfies so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the pooch selfie, and then of course you can take the ball. Go get it. And he's back. Perfect. It works. <laughs> so that is uh, the pooch selfie. Uh, I, I, you know, you you will uh, uh, things will vary uh, whether or not uh, it works perfectly for you, but. Oh, the Charlie. plastic thing comes off it. It does, yeah. So oh, you have... great, okay. Oh, I see, okay. Right, so it comes in two parts. Uh, the plastic attachment for your phone, and okay. the opening looks a little bit like this. Obviously, it wouldn't work for a flip phone, but for most phones that are pretty thin, uh, okay. this would work. And then the tennis ball, it comes with a tennis ball that says Pooch Selfie on it, but it just kind of is held in between the two arms. On the side, so you could, if you lose this tennis ball, you could use your own if you needed to, with the pooch selfie. But yeah, I think that it worked really well. Of well, course, yes, yeah, you got some great shots. Yeah, you got a few really, really good selfie shots. Um, and I could also see if for some reason you were in a, you know, if you needed to take a lot of photos of your dog, a lot of selfies with your dog, this would be the perfect product. And maybe you're into dressing up your dog or something like that, um, but yeah, for me it worked. Uh, it worked just great, um, and I think that it would work uh, great for uh, other dogs as well. And what does that cost? Twelve ninety nine uh, okay. at poochselfie.com. Now, <laughs> one thing to note is that uh, th there's a slight chance that the uh, actually, you know what? I, I bet there isn't. I was about ready to say that there's a slight chance that this would cover up your camera, but looking at it actually, uh, there there should be enough space in between these that either if your camera's right directly in the center, then you flip the device this way and then... Oh, okay. Oh, that's know, clever. Oh, that's very clever. That is clever. I just uh, realized that, that if you have a camera on either side, well, then make sure that uh, the device is flipped this way. If it's right in the center, then flip the device the other way so uh, there you go you can buy this on amazon as well and uh, mm -hmm. on amazon it was the same price 12.99 okay. oh and prime and prime yep 
So, mm -mm. that is the pooch selfie, the start I like of it. the uh, new crappy corner month. So expect more doggy gadgets as uh, the week goes on. I would say this one isn't as crappy as we normally get on Chad's crappy corner. This is in fact maybe not a crappy gadget. Um, yeah, I, I like it. Great. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Uh, we have another warehouse video, a very old gadget that is still being made and telling us the story is Jim Nichols. Here's his video. Hello, Dick and Chad. A few episodes back, you had done some white noise machines. Well, this one here I have had since probably early to mid-1980s and... Really simple one. There's just a fan inside of it. It's made by Marpak. They still make these, but they're a little more rounded now. But basically the same thing. Just turn it on. Wow. And it's just a fan. Got two speeds. And then these baffles you can just adjust. Oh, wow. How loud or quiet you want it to go. Oh, wow. I've been using this ever since I worked. Pretty much second shift had been from the mid 80s up until just a couple years ago. But I've been living in an apartment for years now and it just helps mask everything out. And still can't beat these for the sound compared to the digital ones. They just aren't the same. I have one on my iPhone for when I travel and it's just the static noise it makes. It's just, just doesn't do it. I wake up all the time this. I just sleep through it, don't hear what's going on outside, and it's one of the gadgets I just can't get rid of because it still works 30-some years later. Perfect. Okay. Pretty I'm... amazing. Yeah. And uh, I think he sent a link that you can still buy it yeah. on Amazon. It almost looks the same. It's kind of interesting how just rotating that out of shell I know varies the volume by so much. You would think that it needed more space or something in order for yeah, that to happen. But, said, but, but there's a real fan in there. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, he said it's a little more. He said it's Round. a little shapelier yeah. now. And what does it cost? Oh, oh, it's fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah. Well, it's gonna last you thirty years. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah and it comes true. with a free a free sleep mask, uh, or maybe that's just there for image purposes uh, i don't know um yeah the d dome d-o-h-m dome. Dome. The, the, the home um very Dual nice speed yeah oh and black and there's a black option and oh yeah. that we were looking at cream apparently it comes in pure white as well man some nice... And for some reason, white is just forty-five dollars. White is cheaper. There you go. Uh, yeah, this looks like a very nice wh white noise maker. That yeah. is interesting that you just turn it just a little. Oh, bit. Oh, there you go, high and low. Yeah, there's your yeah. Uh, your speed one and, and speed two. Very nice. Excellent. So, uh, Jim, let me. Uh, Jim Nichols, you get Mad Magazine, the current issue of Mad, the June issue. You get one of those thirty-five-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures, and fame as your video travels far and wide. <laughs> uh, so, we're always looking for more videos. I have one more left that we haven't shown yet, and we're talking about videos from new people. It's, it's really been great. The past about four shows. People who had never sent in videos before have sent one in. And it's called the Gadget Warehouse Segment, but it's open to any viewer video. So a gadget you just bought and love, a gadget you bought and hate, 
a gadget like uh, Jim, and I forgot what the gadget was last week, but the guy had it in his warehouse all that in his warehouse drawer for like twenty years and couldn't throw it out. Um, that's the kind of all those things are great. Make a, a two to three minute video, uh, upload it to YouTube. There's a drop down menu. Don't hit private. Hit unlisted. And unlisted means only someone with the uh, URL can can uh, go there to see it. Send us the URL, and it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we use it on the show, you get whatever the current mad is and one of those 35-year-old Alfred e. Newman pictures. So like I said, there's we have one more from a person who hadn't submitted before. Um, so we're looking for more videos. So get a taping. Get a taping. Send them in a our taping. way. Uh, exactly. Perfect. With that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, Bleak says, uh, where do I send my VH, uh, VHS tape? No. You make a video with your <laughs> phone of your VHS tape. <sighs> um, okay, our letter, the subject line is interesting add-on. And what's so funny is I added this a month ago. Uh, hello, Dick and Chad. Uh, sign up at wikibuy.com for free. Select the Wikibuy button. It adds it to Chrome. And when, whenever you are shopping on Amazon, Wikibuy tries to find a cheaper price for the item. I used it when I was going to buy one of those cables you mentioned that has Android and iOS connectors and attaches to an SD card. At the time, it was $49 on Amazon. Wikibuy led me to an eBay seller who had it for $35. Well, it's $15 saving. Uh, it's a great little tool and can save you some cash. I love the show, Dave Martell. Uh, Dave, I do use it, and I had the exact same, not, not for this gadget, I was buying something on Amazon and it brought up an eBay seller who had it for $10 less. Um, sometimes if it's within two or $3, I like the fact that it's Amazon prime and I can get it like in two days. Um, but I have used Wikibuy and I have at least once saved like 10 bucks and it's free, a free app. Very, very cool. Um, so the one thing is now uh, uh, I've been trying to look for this because I heard about it, but I haven't actually read up on it. But uh, have you ever heard of a company called Unroll Me? Unroll dot Un me. Unroll dot no. They uh, were a. Uh, cr an extension that would uh, go into your email and if you wanted to unsubscribe from something you could click it and then it would it would remove it for you on your behalf now oh. uh, what they ended up doing was in the terms of conditions that they could read all your email which they had to be able to do in order for the service to perform but then they started selling everyone's email uh, and oh. just plain plain old email so ever since that uh, kind of scandal um, I've had a, I've been really scared to start, um, just accepting new Chrome extensions and oh, just allowing okay. things in. Um, but, uh, so definitely you, uh, want to look into the reputation of a, uh, of a service, uh, like Wikibuy to see if. Oh, uh, so where, where can we find a, a rating of that's Wikibuy? That's the thing is I don't know. Um, right now it's like viewer. Um, you know, it's, it's your, your own prerogative to go in and look. I would definitely look at the terms of service to see what, I mean, the one thing that no one ever reads is the terms of service, right? Yeah, I know. I'm suggesting that you go read the one thing that no one ever reads uh, to see exactly <laughs> what information they need in order for their service to, uh, to work. 
um, because also because anything that you find that would be valuable to them could potentially become something that they sell later to anyone. Um, and there was a big controversy that uh, Uber uh, bought stuff from Unroll.me, and Uber used this to uh, to see if customers were using Lyft, because if they got a Lyft email, then they would know. And there's all this, oh, all this oh, stuff. Interesting. That, yeah, yeah. So if a company that wasn't like maybe Jet.com, I'm not saying that they are. I, I'm not trying to tarnish Jet's reputation, but let's just say Amazon and Jet, they're competitors. If Jet decided to buy information from Wiki.buy or Wikibuy, not Wiki.buy, Wikibuy then uh, there could be some uh, problems. Yeah. You know? Some of them that, that you don't realize are those fun puzzles, like take this test and let us guess how old you are. Exactly. And then it says, do you use deodorant? Exactly. Do you drive a car? Exactly. Do you buy airline tickets? How and much I'm, money and, and, do you make? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Where exactly. were you last and employed? And my God, they are collecting enough info that that they can sell. It's ridiculous. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, just a word of caution. No, that, that's, a, that's a very good idea. Um, very good but idea. if you're finding deals, that's really great. And uh, it may be something that I want to try out as well. So very Ooh. good. Okay, with that, uh, let's see. Uh, we get to. I'm excited because we get to see what the next, oh, what yes, the heck yes. is it is. And we find out what the heck was it from, uh, from last month. So... Oh, well, we'll bring, uh, oh, there's no way because the, as soon as you see the picture, did you have any idea what, what it was? Uh, I haven't here. I, I scrolled by it before it loaded in. Here was okay. the gadget. Oh, good. That, all right. Do you have any idea what that is? I have is? no idea. I'll be honest. It kind of looks like some sort of grater, but okay. these ridges right here kind of seem like you would put, put some type of food product on it. Now it does obviously have an opening at the bottom. So it op that's another reason why I think it's some sort of grater, uh, like some vegetable grater or something. But I don't understand how you would hold this thing because it looks like there's there's blades on all sides. But it does open. It also kind of has like a Mercedes logo. So I was wondering if it was some yes, the mo gadget. the most the most answers had something to do with Mercedes. Okay, Mercedes so robot. now scroll up. Here I'm gonna scroll, scroll up. And... Da, 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 the winner da, da, is <laughs> it's a pencil sharpener it's a pencil sharpener <laughs> so of course i had to use the back a because there's a big name in the front and yes. b i think that would just happen to give it away that there's a hole in it um only one surprisingly only one person got it wow. but uh, you know, answers were like, it's a Mercedes logo. It must be their space capsule division. Yes. Uh, three, three way hair trimmer from Mercedes, Mercedes underpants, warmer, um, exclusive <laughs> a safety helmet, a safety helmet you get when you buy a Mercedes, um, uh, upside down chastity belt, space hair underpants. Yes. Yes. Robotic robot underpants. Uh, this this is kind of uh, could be. It looks like a speaker that you put in the middle of a conference room at a business. Yeah, it does. It looks like there were three speakers I've seen those. in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, golf ball, baseball, tennis ball, washer, could be bicycle seat, a device you use to massage your bowling fingers <laughs> oh, during that's good. tournaments. That's good. Yeah. Uh, a computer mouse three people can use at one time. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, and then uh, what is a funny one? Rare, an, a rare and uncomfortable plastic Speedo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I like it. I like it. They do kind of look like Superman's underpants. Uh, yeah, they do. Upside they do. down a little bit. And that you know, and, awesome. and people are uh, flashing light for roadside emergencies. Could be. Could be. Yeah. So it's fun. Uh, what I like. What I like about it is that people give you silly answers, and then they like the thing. Something you put on a conference room table as as a speakerphone. It it could be it could that be. Way. it has three microphones and speakers. Yeah, it's it's, it's great. It's great. Great. Now we get to see what the next. What the heck is it? Is and there it is. 
Uh, and uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, pretty obvious to me. This is a uh, sea air freshener. Uh, it's just a normal air freshener. You see these in truck stops all over the place. Uh, you got an air freshener here, folks. Okay, we can wrap it up. Next, next two months of gadgets, it's all done. <laughs> Sorry, I guessed it. Now, if you have an idea, a real idea, what this is, this is a whole gadget, not just a piece, not just a part. That is correct. But the entire gadget and what it does, we'll get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz, 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24, double the Mad Magazines for funny, hilarious, clever, interesting, and smart answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Hey, we have another site, gizwiz.tv. That's all you have to remember, the .tv versus .biz. And that is where the show lives. Whenever we are live, we are live there. We take over the site right there on the home page, and you can join the chat room. We're live Thursday around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. We've been really good at being on time for the past two years. Yes! <laughs> so head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. If you don't want to watch it live, don't worry. We got you covered. We have all the other episodes, all the old episodes of Gizwiz on the site. All you have to do is either go to episodes or just scroll down for a selection of the newest, oldest episodes. Uh, and also while you're there, go ahead and click on that Patreon tab. You can follow the banner directly to Patreon or donate via PayPal. Uh, but we want to give a big thank you to all of our patrons. You guys support the show every week. You guys make the show happen. This would not be able to happen without you. So big, big, big thank you to you. You guys have really made Gizwiz last for two years, which is a big accomplishment. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Don't forget to uh, record a video for the uh, warehouse. And uh, yep. we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>